Do you remember the 21st day of September? Yes. That's when Lady Cheryl said that she was yelling at my video and she surprised her neighbors did not come at that house. <laughs> Lydia, I'm going to be making pepper jelly today. Now, I got this recipe from Woman and Woman Homestead. That's Leah and Tank. Um, over there in Michigan, I believe that is. Great channel. I'll drop their name in there so you guys can check them out. A lot of knowledge, a lot of ups and downs, keeping us posted on what's going on in their city. You know, if you've never been there, this is some people you can find out about what's going on in their neighborhood. So I'm going to be making this pepper jelly for my family here. And it, her recipe, she did one batch. I'm going to be doubling the batch. Why? I don't know. Because I know it's going to be good. Um, actually, you ever been to Arby's and Arby's makes this? Brock and berry dip for your jalapeno peppers and it's like a sweet peppery sauce well guess what that's what this gonna be stay tuned all right so this recipe is only three cups of three cups of peppers I have assorted mixed peppers. I have jalapeno pepper, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, and orange peppers. That's beautiful. Um... I have jalapeno peppers too. I also, oh, that's a little hot over there though. I also will be using my canner steamer for the first time today, if you guys can see that right there. Um, and I've already had that calibrated and ready to go. Now, if you check out Love Lady Garden, Love Lady's Love Ladies Garden Projects and more. You can she teaches us how to calibrate that. And basically she took the time out to read the book, y'all. I took a shortcut. I just went to her. And that saved me a lot of time as well. So this also calls for one cup of vinegar. I'm making two batches. I have three cups of peppers assorted, and I'm using two cups of apple cider vinegar. I didn't have nothing because I already put my peppers in the measuring cup. This mason jar has measurements on it. It measures at a cup and a half. So guess what I'm going to do? I need two cups. I'm going to a cup and a half, and then I'm going to turn around and go to a half. I'm going to be using this pectin, and I'm going to use two of them, and that'll be like uh, almost three ounces of pectin. Sorry, sure gel pectin. And I'm going to cook this pectin down, and I want to come back to you guys. Okay. So I'm back and I have my vinegar and my pectin at a rolling boil. I know it's at a rolling boil because when I stir it, it continues to boil. It doesn't stop. All right. Now, this recipe calls for five cups of sugar. 
my measuring cup here holds about four, but I went to the top, so that should be about five. And then um, I'll come back and put five more. That's a lot. All right, so that's five right there. Let me cook this down, y'all. I got me some of that Mirena sugar. I'm going to turn my heat down. I don't like the way it smells. Now, I ain't never been popped by no dead on sugar before. And I just feel like it, I want to turn it down. And as y'all can see, it's still consistently at a boil. Um, I can't wait to try this with some jalapeno poppers. You know, with the cream cheese in the middle or the cheddar cheese with the bread around them. Shh. Put it on some hot fish. Grill some fish with it. You know, can do almost anything with it. Now I'm gonna let I got this stirred up, and I'm gonna set a timer for this. Actually, I'm gonna wait to this. I'm gonna do it like I did my strawberry jam. I just feel like it needs it. I'm gonna let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then I will time it for. Um, they did a total of two and a half minutes. I'm going to do a total of five minutes on a rolling boil. And then this will be ready to jar. It. And okay, yeah, I got my jars ready. So my jars are washed and clean. I have my pressure steamer over there calibrated. And um, I got my jars ready. So let's get this done. All right, I'm back. I did let my sugar, pepton, and vinegar mixture come to a rolling boil after the sugar was added. I let it roll and boil for well over five minutes, guys. Um, you know, because we, we want to be ready when you start doing these things so you don't have to run around like most of the time I do. Um, I had to get the water out of my jars, so I had to get this. Good thing it wasn't lost. Um, I had to get the magnet picker up because that's over there. Got to, you know, hot. Um, there is rules that you don't have to boil them anymore, but I do because that's the way I learned. I'm a newbie. First time making these things and I just don't want to make no mistakes. Now, be ready. Don't be like me. Be like the pros, you know. Well, shoot, sometimes they don't even be ready because I don't see Homestead Heart take off running looking for something now like I'm doing right now, looking for that deep bubbler. I, that deep bubbler, I never can find it. Never can find the daggone deep bubbler. It's going to be right up under my nose, but I'm going to use something else. How about that? I did learn I can do that. So I'm going to deep bubble with... Um, I'm going to debubble with the, um, <laughs> with the butter knife or something I'm going to use. So here we go. Um, I'm getting better as I go on. The more I do this, the more comfortable I feel. Um, I feel like this is a product that, you know, you might not use a whole lot of. I'm using the one inch hair space. I'm actually using this to judge. Okay, so I don't have a lot of space left in my camera, but I want to let y'all know what I did. I, Because I'm using pectin and syrup, I want to pay close attention to my rims. So I filled my jars up, and then I cleaned each and every one of my rims before I got started. I didn't do it one at a time. Um, I don't believe that I'm waiting on a cooling issue with this because I've already put the product in a hot jar and it was a hot item. So I did that part right. Um, I don't think it's no rush process to get it going in the canner. You know, um, I'm using the pressure canner steamer. Um, I do know my altitude is 115. So on the pressure canner steamer, it has levels for your altitude. Well, mine's because it's under 1,000, out, the altitude is under 1,000, my level is blue. So what I'll do is, and I've already calibrated this machine, thanks to love ladies. 
Um, I'm going to take in, oh, I'm missing the top. I'm going to take in, um, now this water's cooled off now. It's not hot, so, and my hands are clean. And the jars are still extremely hot. I ain't been going that long. Fingers tip tight. Um, still. And I'm reaching backwards because my legs is behind me. And it's hot, y'all. And y'all know I like paying attention. I'm gonna load this up in the load this up in the can um uh, can of steamer. Okay, so I'm gonna just basically turn my stove up to about Nine. I'm not going to go all the way high. And I'm going to cover this up. Now, these are 12 half pint jars. Yeah, I did not measure this. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, so she going to fit, but looks like I got a load. I have to load mine up before putting it on the stove because I don't have head space. I don't have head space. That's why I can't use my juicer yet because it's ranges or microwave is here. So we what we're doing is waiting for um, this to come up to the pro in this back. I already got bad bad eyes coming to the age. I need to keep this way. I can see it. Alright. I'm the first elevation. These are half a pint. Half a pint should process for 10 minutes. You start timing your 10 minutes once you come to your rolling boil. Alright. Let me do y'all some little talk. So, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Not only do I got to sleep in my eyes, but I got to be careful because I have these hot hands. Now, they say we should work work gloves when using the peppers. And we actually, you know, should. I always find it. That thing up there already, it ain't even been nowhere near. So, I can hear my pot boiling. But I don't think it reached the pressure yet. Did it reach the pressure to that? Like, literally, it ain't been that but like two to three minutes. I walked over here, got a seat, adjusted the camera, and started wiping dust off my eyes. Let me go check it. I'll be right back. So, no, it's not. It just sounds like that. It's, um, the reason why I want the stain canner is because... I'm going to do something else, y'all. I'm going to flip the camera around because it seems like I'm cock out it a little bit. And I should be looking that way. But I feel like I want to look directly at myself when talking. Hold on again. Okay, so I had to get Naya to help me with the camera. And I still am a little bit whatever. It hasn't came up to a boil yet. I'm trying to um, process what I'm about to say right quick. Um... I want to give a big thanks to Cheryl's Organic Food Force for being there for me from the very beginning, from the moment I started following her, from the moment I emailed her or she told me to email her because I can remember it like it was yesterday when I started going to her lives and, and being in tune into her lives and, and I had a question and then she said email me. And I put my email address in there. And when I put my email, um, um, Organic Love came and said, you know, she knew I was new. And she told me that, you know, it's not proper etiquette to put your email address in there. But sure, as far as I knew, I was just giving her my email address. But I was giving it to everybody. You know what I'm saying? What if they wanted to leave her and do something to me? Anyway, it's etiquette to this thing. You know what I'm saying? It's level. Um, and... She helped me with finding the canner, finding the jars. Hey, y'all, I got 34 seconds. Obviously, it's blinking at me right now. I'm trying to figure this thing out. Because I really want to give Lady Cheryl the credit that is due to her as a person. 
and I'm holding the camera on and everything because I'm frustrated. All right, as y'all can see, I'm up to my designated area and I'm about to set a timer. What I did, y'all, I went and deleted some apps, honey. That's what I went and did. So I'm about to set a timer right quick. I want to give a shout out to Lady Cheryl's Organic Food Force. When I started coming on YouTube back in early April, um, and let Farmer um, sit that information out, talking about, um, you know, calling out Cheryl and calling out Homestead Heart. And I talked about this before in my videos, if you guys been watching me for a while. And when he turned me on to Cheryl, it was like I was in college and I was learning these things. When I had a question, she answered the question. When she wanted to get back with me, she gave me her email address and opened the door. Now, I want one of them words from people she was talking about that didn't, you know, trying to pester her for every little thing. I've only asked her like two questions. <laughs> but, you know, anyway, I would joke around about it a little bit. But, um, Lady Shore has been there for me at least since April. And it's been genuine. And she's been wanting to help. You guys just don't start watching her now. You got to go back and get to the heart of her. And when you get to the heart of her, you will know that the person she is, is who she is. My Angelo says, once a person show you who they are, accept them for that. And she has showed us all the way back, 2016, 17, 18. I've been looking at people and I'll see her name in the comment. So I know God don't put me with the right person. He don't put me with my auntie, my mommy, somebody who's going to teach me something. Somebody who's going to be beneficial to me in my circle. So of course, I'm going to continue to follow her throughout my whole experience here on YouTube and just to see how she progresses and to see how I progresses. And I pre really do appreciate her, appreciate me. Cause I'm always late for something. Uh, oh yeah, I won't in that live right on time. Let me tell y'all about that live that Lady Cheryl did this Monday. Matter of fact, it was, um, do you remember the 21st day of September? Yes. That's when Lady Cheryl said that she was yelling at my video and she surprised her neighbors did not come at that house. When I tell you, when I finally took the time and took that information in because the 21st day of September is my husband's birthday. So I was outside and lost track of time just listening to him and his cousin talk about their memories and you know when you get somebody telling their story you want to listen to it so I was having fun I didn't have my phone I lost track of time and at some point I said no nah, you go get my phone and she went and got my phone and um Joy had sent me some jazz music and it was so lit and I started saying yeah I can't wait to hear jazz live music again and I just you know spoke to her like hey and then she run my phone she was like, where you at? You ain't on Lady Cheryl live? She said, she just gave you the most beautiful shout out. Man, I left the whole conversation. Husband's birthday over. I would left the whole conversation. I went to her live and I immediately was grinning. And, I, you know, she ended up talking about, man, yeah, I gave you a great shout out. I'm like, what, what I miss? And, you know, still... Um, everything everybody was talking about and the questions she was answering were all very helpful then and you know this thing is amazing y'all um I got my time on y'all let me check my time let me check my time now my 10 minutes is up I didn't read the mail if it weren't for my people in, uh, in Lady Cheryl's conference room, some of my classmates there, I, I, I wouldn't have made it. Um, I'm going to move this off the direct heat. It's kind of heavy still, so I'm being careful. And I'm going to let this cool all the way down. I'm going to let that pressure 
bill all the way down before I take it off or wait for it to come down or something because she pretty hot and that's just something I'm starting to know naturally you know that's what you do with pressure candy remove it off the heat and I'm pretty sure the book probably tell you move it off the heat too so I moved off this heat all right some of these jars have began to seal. That's the product, y'all. Festive pepper jelly. Basically, color peppers and sweetener. Now, of course, being that this is not nothing I grew up on, I second-guessed it. But when I tell you I've tasted it, it is very good. Very, very good. It's something about that. It's like a sweet and sour feel. Something like your um, sweet and sour. So this would go good with egg rolls. Um, dipping sauces. Things like that. And um, what I learned from Lady Cheryl is. If I'm going to be putting these. Y'all heard that? Pop goes weasel because the weasel go pop. If I'm going to be putting these in like a metal container or something like that, I can't put that glass directly on that metal because there's a possibility it can break. Now, if I was using something like porcelain or, or putting a towel down in it, it probably would be more likely okay. So, being that I don't cook that much around here, I'm going to go ahead and do my jars and sit them here and they're going to be just fine. The only thing we're going to be cooking on this stove next 24 hours is a dang on egg. Um, what I was saying about Lady Cheryl, she's a great person. I really appreciate her. Um, all the training that I get from her, and not only just her. Other people out there that I'm looking at and guiding. But for some reason, I really feel a big connection to her. My mom's name is Shirley. My sister name is Cheryl. Her birthday is July 4th. My brother's birthday is July 4th. She's a matter of fact, just like my mom. She favors my mom. I feel like we favor somewhat. You know, but they, you know, they say we all look alike. We all got our twin. And I just feel like I could take some of her preaching and teaching and carry it to my next level in life. Like I said, guys, I'm living my best life yet. I got some icing on my cake, but it ain't decorated. It ain't got no candles. It ain't been eaten. So keep watching me on this journey. I'm well. My family's well. Thank you. And thank you again, woman and woman. And hold on. And thank you again, love ladies. Because you saved me some steps with this calibration. I did good, girl.